On February 26 through 28, 2021, Kosciuszko Foundation Washington, D.C. chapter presented the second edition of the Chopin Piano Academy, an online event that attracted students from virtually all over the world who flocked to present their Chopin repertoire to four faculty artists comprised of world-class pianists and laureates of the International Chopin Competition in Warsaw. The idea of the Academy, initiated in March 2019, to purposely coincide with Friedrich Chopin's birthday on March 1st, was to offer tuition-free classes for the few selected young pianists up to 30 years of age, with expert pianists and professors from Poland and the United States. The first edition took place in Washington, D.C., and attracted 20 applicants, from which the preselection jury chose eight students to come and take part in the Academy. All of them were offered free room and board, as well as free classes with the Academy faculty. Professor Piotr Paleczny from Poland, Professor Krzysztof Jabłoński from Canada, and Professor Jeffrey Swan from the United States. All members of the faculty are known to be leading interpreters of the music of Frédéric Chopin, and all of them are laureates of the International Chopin Competition in Warsaw. For the second edition of the Academy, the organizers decided to adapt to the current situation caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and create an online academy where students could take lessons through Zoom without even leaving their homes. The event attracted a staggering number of students and viewers from all over the world, as well as some prominent guests who tuned in to the academy classes and expressed their most enthusiastic and inspiring words of support. Here are the highlights. Hello, everyone. Um, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning to our viewers all around the world. Um, my name is Martin Labazovic. I'm the artistic director of the Kosciuszko Foundation Chopin Piano Academy. Hello, and thank you for being here. We're really excited uh, to uh, come to the end of the Chopin Piano Academy. Perhaps a little sorrowful, too. It's been a really exciting uh, few days, or for us, a few weeks. Hello, everybody. Welcome. It is my great, great pleasure to welcome all of you to this uh, very special birthday celebration of our beloved Frederick Chopin. I hope that our wonderful applicants had a fruitful few days learning from the academy professors, that they're listening to their fascinating presentations, and that it was a very rewarding experience for all involved. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, many thanks to the Kosciuszko Foundation and to, to the director of the Washington office, Basha Bernhardt, for, for this kind invitation. Uh, I am very happy to greet everyone uh, tuning in from all parts of the world, in particular the distinguished faculty, artists and professors uh, as well as all piano masters who are with us on Zoom today. I welcome all students participating in the online academy from Poland, Switzerland, Japan, China, Taiwan, South, South Korea, Canada, and the United States. I do hope you will stay inspired by the universal power of Chopin's music. And one day you will come to Warsaw to take part in the renowned international Chopin competition a competition which opens doors to the best philharmonic houses all over the world. Now, I think it's time for you to meet our students. My name is Parker Van Ostrands. I am from Sacramento, California in the United States, and I will be participating in the Chopin Academy from my home here in Sacramento. My name is Nikolai Seroka. I am 17 years old. I live in Warsaw. Hello, my name is Catherine Liu and I am from Boston, Massachusetts. I am connecting here from my home. My name is Alon Zhen and I'm from Shanghai, China. I've studied in the United States for seven years and due to this pandemic, I was not able to return to the States um, for the semester. So during this academy, I'll be connecting from Shanghai. My name is Sarah Tuan. I live in San Jose, California and I'll be joining the academy from my home here in San Jose. My name is Bao Zhang. I come from Sichuan, China, and now I live in Beijing. I'm Stephanie Ding Zhong from Ashburn, Virginia in the United States. This is Jae Yun Lee. 
I am from Seoul, South Korea. Currently, I am studying in Salzburg, Austria. But during the academy, I will be located in Seoul. My name is Lia Wang. I was born in Jilin, China. Now I live in Beijing. My name is Victoria Wang, and I'm from Toronto, Canada, which is where I'm currently located. I'm Arisa Onoda. I'm originally from Japan, and I will be connecting from Japan during this academy. But after that, I will go back to London, where I've been living in since 2014. My name is Xiaoxuan Hui, and I'm 19 years old right now. I am living in the eastern of America right this time. My name is Sogo Sawada. I've lived in Japan since I was born, and now I'm at home. My name is Ilan, and I'm from the south part of China in a mountainous region called Shaoshan. During the academy, I will be connecting from Zurich, Switzerland. My name is Angelina Ning. I'm currently a junior at American Heritage School, and I live in Boca Raton, Florida. I'm Yun Chi, and I was born in Taiwan, but I've been living in the United States for many years. And during the academy, I will be connecting from Taiwan. All these students came here for the same reason, to study with the best and study with our distinguished, incredible faculty. I would like you to meet our four faculty members. I'm Eva Pobocka, Polish pianist, prize winner of the Chopin competition 1980. Welcome to the Piano Chopin Academy, where we will work on Chopin's music. Chopin's music was always very important in my life. It's very warm and very much espressivo, but it's never sentimental. For the lecture, I choose nocturnes. In nocturne, you can learn the cantabile playing, which was so much important. Chopin was very, very much interested and very much inspired by the opera music of his time. And because I came from a music family, my, my mother was a singer and my daughter is a singer. And I used to play to work with many wonderful singers in my life. Uh, I learned from them how to play cantabile, how to sing on the piano. So this is something I would like to share with you. Please join us at the Kościuszko Foundation Shop and Piano Academy Online 2021. My name is Piotr Palecny. I, I am over, over 20 years already. Uh, I'm a member of, of faculty in Chopin University in Warsaw. Chopin music is extremely natural and everybody understands it. If it's Japanese or Chinese or Argentinian or Polish, everybody likes Chopin music and and understand on his way. It's absolutely natural that there is no one and only way of interpretation of Chopin. It's really true that there are many pianists, but not so many artists. And I care about it to, to teach, not to be correct, or even perfect pianist, but to be very interesting, very creative artist. I would like to invite you everybody from the bottom of my heart to Washington, to Kosciuszko Foundation, and to this amazing event. Good luck to everybody, and thank you for being with us.
first of all, I would like to, to thank you. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Stanislav, for organizing this uh, really fantastic uh, event and uh, perfectly well prepared. Uh, we had, uh, since three days, we had never uh, problems with, with connection, with uh, quality of sound. I was very happy and I was, of course, very happy to meet 18 uh, very, very talented young people, young pianists, and it's a unique opportunity to, 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 to listen to these talented uh, pianists and within just three days, one weekend, uh, of course, for us it was, and for you as well, it was a very difficult time. Uh, I feel a little bit <laughs> dead <laughs> right now. Such festival, it's really very unique because they're organized by excellent pianists. I mean, <laughs> the Martin and Jason and Stanislav are professional, uh, great pianists, and uh, we should be very, really, very deeply grateful for organizing such event for for us, for for friends from stage. And uh, so thank you very much from bottom of my heart, really. Hello, my name is Krzysztof Czepanski. Welcome to Kosciuszko Foundation Chopin Piano Academy. I'm honored to be selected once again as one of those few who will be um, working with students and helping them to get better. When I have to talk about life and music of Frédéric Chopin, it makes me feeling very special. This music took major part of my life. It's in my veins, it, it's in my bones, and I am overly happy always when I have to play or speak about it or teach people playing Chopin. I would like to say that whoever will come to me uh, and talk about Chopin's etudes, play them for me. I will be happy to talk about them because I recorded them four times in my life and I've spent endless months and years studying them. Piano technique is my passion. Those basic tools need to be developed when we are young. I very much like helping young people to develop their skills make them playing without stiffness, without technical troubles, with more joy. Welcome everyone who, who wants to work with me. Hello everyone. I, uh, first of all, I, I want to uh, say I'm extremely happy and deeply moved. Uh, Thank you for having me with you. Um, everything Piotr um, already said, I, I repeat, uh, uh, this is extremely important, especially during these difficult times. Um, we all struggle with the situation and, uh, and you made me busy. <laughs> you made me present uh, you made me part of this amazing event and uh, i felt again uh, normal i'm always grateful uh, when i can share what i've learned from my masters and throughout my life with young people and i must say that these were very special three days uh, there was there was no single minute I would be bored or t feeling tiredness. Uh, I feel younger after these three days. Uh, you made me feeling younger. And there is hope because uh, I see uh, so many good things and beautiful music played by so young uh, colleagues of mine, I must, I must say. We all share the same misery at the keyboard. And <laughs> if, if whatever I've learned can be useful for, for younger people, then it's, uh, then it's fantastic. And I also enjoyed uh, incredibly uh, what 
uh, other faculty members uh, had to share. And, uh, and this is all enriching me, uh, truly. Thank you for wonderful three days. I'm very happy to be part of the uh, Kostiushka Foundation of Chopin Piano Academy 2021. It's been a great pleasure to be invited here uh, alongside with such wonderful artists. And I'm really enjoying working with this great team of people who I've been working with for several events so far, and I'm looking forward to this event. Chopin always been in my life, in my artistic life, since I was a uh, child, since I was a student at school, my teachers coming from a great Chopin tradition. Outside even the fact that uh, I was participating in Chopin piano competition, which I did because of my passion for Chopin. It is a, a sincere pleasure for me to have an opportunity to talk about Chopin sonatas and my seminar during the festival. I think it's, uh, uh, these sonatas are extremely interesting, not only because of the quality of music, obviously, uh, but also since Chopin did not really compose any grand form, unlike his contemporaries. You know, he did not write any symphony, any opera. And so these sonatas become quite important milestone uh, in his art. Uh, they are truly symphonic, I, I should probably say. And I'm looking forward to discuss these aspects and many others, and I hope uh, it will not be a lecture, but a nice conversation. Thank you so much for having me, really. It's, uh, it's been a truly remarkable three uh, days. I should say that uh, uh, this foundation brings me back to my family because my mom's uh, family comes from the eastern Polish place called Kostiuszko, which used to be before the war, the Second World War. My great-grandmother was talking in Polish to me, and obviously I could not understand a word what she was saying. And uh, also, it's such an honor to be part of uh, this panel of faculty. Um, and I should say, I'm, I'm uh, happy to meet Krzysztof, which we never met before. And uh, Mr. Palechny is following my competition career all his life, uh, in Poland, in Japan, and everywhere. And uh, it's especially uh, honorable for me to become a friend with someone who was such an uh, example for me, especially when it came to Chopin music. And I'm very grateful for this opportunity being part of this festival. And I hope uh, next time and many more, this festival will be held in, in person. Thank you. We have asked our students, what do they think about music of Frédéric Chopin? Here's what they said. To me, Chopin has always been a very special composer. I can really connect with his music, especially the sense of longing, the yearning, and the melancholy that I can feel in his pieces. This music can express emotions that no other music can. It is so unique. For me, Chopin's music is special because of how expressive it is. For me, Chopin's music means to be loved and healed. I could tell everything to his music by playing the piano. Chopin was the first composer that I really love and try to understand. I've been listening to Chopin's music since I was a child, so his music has really accompanied my development as a musician. When I was little, the very first piece that I heard was by Chopin, and ever since then I fell in love with this composer and his music. Chopin's music is very special to me. I grew up with his music, and I'm sure it will always be with me. Chopin's music gives me the happiness as a pianist, in touch with his pianism, but also gives me more hardship to play beautifully and naturally than any other composers. Chopin is my favorite composer. I've always felt a special connection to his music. The beauty and complexity of his compositions never fail to inspire me. To me, Chopin's music is truly timeless and um, I feel a very deep personal connection to his music ever since I was a very young child. There's so much um, different emotions that are within his works that I've played and it's amazing how 
each of his works create different musical scenes and different kinds of imagery. Um, there's so much imagination within his works in terms of the way he explores different harmonic and key changes um, and creates some of the most beautiful melodies ever written. I'm a person who feels emotions very deeply. So Chopin's music in a way is to cope in a sense and to remind me that life is still precious even with pain and struggle and that nothing beautiful ever came from always being happy and bright and positive. Whenever I play his music, I feel that I really, really am willing to seek for higher ideals and it also makes me aspire to become a noble human being and that is, in my opinion, what a true art ought to be. His music um, is like a companion um, who understands me and helps me to get through the difficult times of life. Chopin's music it means a lot and uh, to, to me, which is really poetic, really uh, feel nostalgic, I think everything is about the life. Maestro Garik Olson, the winner of the first prize from the 1970 International Chopin Piano Competition in Warsaw. Welcome and thank you so much for accepting our invitation. Thank you. It's an honor and a pleasure for me to be here. Uh, it's also be good to be reminded that 51 years ago I played quite well and I had talent back then. <laughs> I don't know what happened in the meantime. And yes, I do also want to agree that uh, what the young pianists were saying about Chopin, about the role of art and music and feelings, was really very, very, very touching and uh, quite deep and gives me hope. I have not been able to participate in many of the online lessons. I've heard a couple which were spectacular. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a joy. I agree with Professor Yablonski that, uh, you know, nothing makes me happier than talking about Chopin and, uh, and teaching him and, uh, playing him and, and so on. I mean, it's a life, lifelong ex obsession. It was strong when I was in Warsaw at age 22, but it's much stronger now. And uh, Chopin seems to me kind of a Rosetta Stone of the piano, of the human hand, of sound, of emotions, and some of the most stunningly perfect compositions I, uh, ever written. I don't mean perfect in, a, um, in an embalmed sense, not, in, not preserved in a museum, but I mean, they're just the staggering, uh, the staggering perfection and beauty of his utterances uh, in all of the masterpieces and there are dozens and I mean, most of them are masterpieces. There's, there's not a wrong note or a false, inadequate, there's not an inadequate note or a wrong note or an extra note or a false step. So of course I love him very much, but we all do. So I won't go on about that very much. Um, it's a pleasure to see you all and uh, just best, very, very, very best wishes. And I'm very glad you were able to do this in the time of COVID and I hope it will be live next time and we'll see. And <laughs> maybe I can participate too. Maestro Kevin Kenner, winner of the Chopin Piano Competition from 1990. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation and joining us tonight. Thank you so much. Um, I, first of all, it's just wonderful to see so many of my friends here um, among your students, 
many of whom I, I know from various places, various academies, from my own academy, uh, to uh, the competition, uh, and, and uh, fellow professors, um, judges, pianists. It's just great. It's like, it's really, it's just like a big family. I, I love this. There's so much anxiety in the world right now uh, about our futures in music. And, uh, and I can imagine the anxiety of, of young pianists now uh, preparing for their futures and uh, for these competitions. So I just wanted to just say a couple of words about um, seeing these preparations in a slightly different light not so much in the uh, attainment of a prize that we're working towards uh, a goal to, to be rewarded at a competition. Um, as many of you know, uh, it was only a few months ago that my former teacher, Leon Fleischer, passed away. And I, I see Brian Gantz there as well. Of course, he had a wonderful array of, of students that followed him and in his footsteps. And I remember so well how he discouraged me, and I'm sure many of us uh, from doing competitions, it didn't work in my case, I, I still went out there and did it. Um, but I, I do believe it was because he wanted us to seek out above all else um, excellence, um, not the kind of excellence that is rewarded in competitions, um, but really the, the excellence in the, in the quality of your workmanship, of the relationship that you have with your score, with the composer, with your audiences, that uh, with your art, I really feel it's important to just remind you of the, the true value of what you're really doing when you immerse yourself in this great music. Uh, Jay Yun, uh, the student who mentioned about the noble life, and I think that just says it all that that's what Chopin's music can do. It can truly uh, change and shape your life in a noble way, whether or not you win a competition or succeed uh, in the material world. Last of all, I just want to say happy birthday to Monsieur Chopin. this performance, I was there in Warsaw in 2010. Ingolf Wunder, uh, second prize winner from the 2010 Chopin Piano Competition in Warsaw. Great pleasure. Thank you so much for inviting me. As you see, I'm very, very interested in the, in the essence of music. Uh, I always was. And um, uh, especially this is so, I think, so important for, um, you know, the um, piano students and, and members of this academy that uh, will, I heard uh, many of you guys will um, participate in the next competition as well. And uh, I think especially in the time uh, that we live now where we um, more and more ask the why of things, uh, it's, it's important to know why we are doing what we are doing, why we are playing Chopin's music. I feel that this world that we love so dearly, the Chopin and his uh, beautiful music, uh, could be an anchor for us humans and could be uh, kind of the last uh, human uh, I don't say, castle that we own in, in a world out of uh, in a world full of computers and algorithms that are way quicker than we are. Um, and that's why I think it's it's in this time especially it's more important than ever that uh, we give as many people as possible in the world, the right patterns in the brain to decipher all the beautiful things that uh, Chopin has written. That's why I find it very, very, very good that, um, you know, the Chopin family and everybody that, that cares really deeply and honestly about um, what this music is about, that we give this to as many people as possible and, uh, and inspire. That's the most, impo most important thing.
Maestro Jeffrey Swan is our um, Chopin Academy family. He was also at the uh, first Academy uh, faculty, and he's also part of the crew of the 1970 uh, Chopin competition uh, winners. He's we're here with Gary Colson and with Piotr Paleszny. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation, and thank you so much for, for being with us today. Thank you very much for having me. It's a great honor, and it's always a pleasure to hear and talk about Chopin. It is so deep to, so deeply in all of our hearts. Um, I think the one thing I'd like to say about Chopin today is um, just how incredibly original he was. I think that um, it, it gets overlooked that he invented a whole new world, a sound world like no one else. That um, in some ways, I think he was maybe the most original composer that ever lived, that um, out of nothing, out of nowhere, um, he creates this, this entire new, and already we hear in the earliest pieces, um, Something else that I um, heard today someone say, and I, I thought a lot about, is this idea that we play these pieces all our lives and, and uh, that we grow and li live with them and um, keep trying to play them better. I think with the, the young boy talking about the first ballad, I was thinking about myself with the fourth ballad, which I have probably played 400 times and never gone well yet, but I keep thinking maybe next time I'll finally get it. And th that's really the nature of, of, of all great music and certainly of Chopin that we live with it, we grow with it, we keep trying, and we, we, our lives are in service of it and, and to try to find its, its beauty and truth and, um, and to give it to, to the rest of the world, to give it to our students, to our audience, to whomever. So thank you for having me. Maestro Brian Gans is with us here today, uh, a laureate of the Queen Elizabeth competition and uh, competition in Paris, but also someone who the past 10 years devoted himself to play all Frederick Chopin repertoire here in the Music Center in Strat Strathmore. Thank you so much for being with us today. It's such a pleasure. I'm so honored to be included in this extraordinarily illustrious group. Oh my goodness. I must tell you, uh, this has been therapy for for me to watch these young people uh, playing beautifully and speaking even more beautifully about their love of Chopin. And please, please send us a, a link that, so that we can watch it again. Uh, because when I'm feeling blue, I will turn to this for uh, <laughs> for a quick cheering, cheering up. Um, so uh, forgive me again for, for speaking very briefly, but I just wanna uh, build a little bit on what Kevin Kenner uh, said about our dear teacher, Leon Fleischer. Um, and I hope this will be inspiring to our young people who probably have many competitions ahead of them. Uh, I did a competition once where uh, Mr. Fleischer was on the jury and before the winners were announced, he said words that uh, meant the world to me then and I have never forgotten. He said, there are no winners and losers in music. There are only servants of a glorious and benign art. So I wish all of our young people great, great success. And by that, I don't mean that, that may you win competitions, although that's fine if you do. <laughs> but what I mean is you've already found your bliss May you find your voice and share it fearlessly and lovingly with the world. Um, I wish you joyful lives in music. And thank you for including me this evening. It was a tremendous honor. And I, I wish you all um, great, great pleasure and love in Chopin's music always. Happy birthday, Panye Chopin.
Maestro Piotr Gajewski, not a pianist, but a member of the Chopin Piano Academy family from the very beginning, joining us here. Uh, he is the director of the National Philharmonic here in Washington DC in Strathmore. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you so much, Martin. And where in the world did you find that clip? That was, for those who don't know, that was uh, William Grant still Afro-American Symphony. Uh, the the finale. Um, first of all, congratulations to all the participants. Uh, you are so lucky to be studying with this fabulous uh, faculty, Krzysztof Jabłoński, Aleksander uh, Kobrin, Piotr Paleczny, uh, Eva Pobłocka. Uh, you will years from now only appreciate how wonderful uh, this experience uh, was. Uh, congratulations to the organizers of the, uh, of the Academy, uh, Barbara and Martin and Jason and Yolanta. Uh, this is just a wonderful, wonderful uh, service that, uh, that, that you perform. And I was thrilled to be included in the, in the competition uh, last year, uh, sponsored by, uh, by the Academy and, uh, and Kosciuszko Foundation here in Washington, DC. Somebody already mentioned it's uh, past midnight in uh, in Warsaw. Uh, Piotr Palecny, you might be the closest to Chopin's birth. So you are the closest to Chopin's birth and it's March 1st, the date that we, uh, that, that, that we uh, sometimes celebrate Chopin's birth. So happy birthday, Frederick Chopin. Thank you so much, Piotr. Uh, so there we are at the end of our journey. Um, I have to say something that if last March somebody told me that I will be, we will be hosting the Academy online and um, there will be 18 incredible young pianists from all over the world uh, and listeners from literally all over the world and most prominent pianists and a Polish ambassador right in my apartment, I would tell them that they're absolutely crazy and this is uh, impossible but well you can see that nothing is impossible and uh, we did it thank you all so much it was a great honor to share this time with you and to hear your words and i think we'll leave the last word actually uh, to the participants of the chopin piano academy 2021 uh, wishing uh, our dear frederick chopin a happy birthday i wish Frederick Chopin, a very happy birthday. I would like to give my sincere wish to the birthday of this incomparable composer. Happy birthday, Mr. Chopin. We love and appreciate you. I'm so happy that I live in the world, that your music exists. It is such a blessing to have you and to have your music. Dear Frederick, I wish you a happy birthday. I'd like to wish Frederick Chopin a very happy birthday. I would really love to wish him all the best. I want to wish Chopin a happy 211th birthday. Happy birthday, dear Frederick Chopin. Happy birthday, 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 Chopin. And happy birthday to Chopin. Happy birthday, Chopin. Happy birthday, dear Mr. Chopin, to your 211th birthday.